we have one final award and then uh, you, you're no more formal uh, formalities for the evening. So the third award for the evening is the 2019 Sir Ronald Wilson Human Rights Award presented to an individual or organisation that's made an outstanding contribution to advancing human rights. In 2019, the Board of ACFID has decided to award the Sir Ronald Wilson Human Rights Award to Veronica Coman. Veronica is a human rights defender and lawyer who advocates extensively for human rights in West Papua. She's a member of the International Lawyers for West Papua, an international network of lawyers working, working to strengthen the human rights of the people in West Papua. Previously, she worked as a public interest lawyer at the Jakarta Legal Aid Institute. In the midst of the recent internet blackout in West Papua following mass demonstrations in the region, Veronica has been disseminating information about the developments in the situation on social media and has functioned as a key source of information to the outside world. Please welcome Veronica to the stage. Thank you so much for the honor of this award. I would like to first, uh, I would like to firstly acknowledge the uh, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, the traditional custodians of this land. I pay my respects to the elders, past, present, and emerging. I would also like to use today's tonight's opportunity to formally request permission from the traditional owners and custodians of the. Um, of countries throughout Australia to seek protection and shelter here. I acknowledge Aboriginal people's sufferings and ongoing struggle in their own lands, similar to West Papuans who also suffer in their own lands. I actually um, did cry while sitting there, while the, uh, the ambassador showed the, uh, the, the footage of the destruction in Timor-Leste. I didn't expect this to be very emotional because um, during the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the time in uh, East Timor crisis, I was still in elementary school. So thank God it was dark. So, <laughs> uh, and, um, and, and I also felt immense fear, sudden immense fear because we are seeing the similar tactics being activated in West Papua, that is the uh, civilian militias being used. And um, so, yeah, that's why it's uh, very uh, emotional, that footage. <coughs> Mostly as a result of security forces operation in uh, West Papua, there are currently 60,000 civilians displaced right now in West Papua. Of those displaced from Nuga area since December last year, 189 people, including children, have died due to hunger and disease. The, the Indonesian government wasn't happy when I shared videos of more than hundreds of thousands of West Papuans taking to the streets uh, this August and September demanding a, a self-determination referendum. My thoughts are with more than 100 West Papuans who were detained and more than 100 others who were injured in the crackdown following the mass protests. So I dedicate this award to all the victims of the crackdown, especially the dozens who have died at the hands of security forces and the 22 political prisoners charged with treason facing life imprisonment over the past couple of months. I have the West Papuan people to thank for changing my life. They have taught me how to be resilient, how to keep fighting and how to keep going despite um, in circumstances while outsiders may feel that they already uh, have to stop. 
I would also like to thank my family for being so patient, as if my teenager years were not troubled enough. Now, <laughs> now my parents have to endure my public portrayal as the state enemy number one. I also thank my supporting teams in Indonesia and elsewhere. Finally, I hope this year's award will raise awareness in Australia about human rights abuses suffered by West Papuans and their decades-long denial of their fundamental right to self-determination. Thank you. Well-deserved applause and an extraordinary symmetry, really, on the 20th anniversary that we're in a position where we can recognise the courage um, of Veronica in the situation, uh, her advocacy for West Papua.